Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at a system called Orion Prime. And Orion Prime Linux is a Fedora based system and it has a modified uh, GNOME desktop. And from here on the website we can see that uh, it says the Orion project, the Orion project started its development in October of 2022, founded by Brandon Lester. The Orion project is based on Fedora Linux, made to be minimalistic while privacy and security being the number one priority. And you got some more info right here regarding uh, Orion. And tells you about software and updates, customization, and how to download it and get it. All right. So I got it set up in a virtual machine and uh, I'm gonna run through the installer right now. It uses the uh, Fedora installer. So let's, hold her, let's head over to the VM now, take a look at that. All right, we're on the virtual machine right here and uh, we can see that uh, our language for English is already selected. So we're gonna click on next. And our keyboard is also selected as English. Click on next. All right, and here it's asking us to try Orion or install the disk. So we're gonna select install the disk. All right, so here we have the uh, installer here. Uh, I'm not familiar with this installer. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a modified version of the uh, Fedora installer, but uh, we're gonna run through it since it's the first time I take a look at it and see how it does. So right now it's selected to erase data and install. All right, right now it's asking me do I wanna encrypt my uh, selected device and I do not, so I'll just click next. And it's giving me a section to review and install. So here you have your overview of what's gonna happen. And it gives you a warning that erasing the data cannot be undone. I'll select erase data and install. All right, so it's running through the installer now, so uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back once it's ready for us to look at the system. And the installer is now completed, so uh, we have a message here and a button to select quit. So let's reboot the system. Okay, we are rebooted now and we have a welcome to Orion. 38. Am I pronouncing that right? Orion? Orion? I'm just going to call it Orion because I think it's Orion, but it could be Orion. Who knows? Anyway, so we got the welcome screen up, so we're going to run through it real quick. And then it uh, looks like we have to fix the uh, aspect ratio also. So the screen resolution is going to need to be fixed once I'm done looking at this uh, welcome screen. So let's start. I got a button here that says start setup. Uh, location services allows apps to determine so i'll shut that down off automatic problem reporting if you want to leave these on you can but i always shut it off time zone los angeles click next enable third-party repositories that's disabled so I don't know which one is actually enabling it. So I guess being in blue ena enables it. All right, I'm gonna click next. And then connect your online accounts. Let me skip that. Then it has a question about me. So here's where I set up my uh, user info. Click next, set up my password. Confirm my password. And I'm all done. Start using Orion or Orion. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so I guess that wasn't a welcome, that was the actual part of the setup. And here's the actual welcome screen. Alright, so we'll start with take the tour. And right here it says start the tour. So I guess I click this little arrow. Uh, get an overview. Just type the search. 
keep on top of workspaces, hand gestures for tablets, and that's it. Have a nice day. And the good thing is that we didn't have to mess with the uh, screen resolution. It fixed itself. So that's a good thing. Well, like I said, this is a modified GNOME uh, system. We have the panel actually on the bottom. And it's all systems. GNOME has a single button for your system tray. So it comes as a, it's all bunched up into one. And then uh, the date and time opens up the calendar. Usually when the, on the GNOME systems, the panel will be on top and the system tray will be on the right, right top. And then the clock will be in the middle. But right here is all in this section right here. And then we have a couple pinned items. We have software, files, and the calendar. And then we have our applications. Clicking on applications shows a regular, uh, regular menu. Instead of opening up the apps in the middle right here, like GNOME, it actually has a uh, application launcher. So we got all applications here. So you got favorites, frequent apps, accessories, graphics, internet, office, programming, sound and video, system tools, utilities, and other. And then right here along this side, you have your uh, folder construct right here, where it has home documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos. And then you have some uh, quick links to your software manager, settings, tweaks, terminal, and activities overview. You also have your login managers down here, your log screens and a search bar here. All right, so let's take a look at accessories, see what we find under accessories. We got clocks, connections, files, maps, text editor, tour, weather. So let's see, uh, let's see, let's take a look at the maps right here. All right, and let's take a look at the about maps. And maps, the known project, 45.2. And here, if you wanted to uh, select a certain part of the world, you could just uh, let's say, for example, me, click on it. Wherever my mouse is, it'll pretty much scroll into that section. So if I want to stay on Los Angeles, I just keep my mouse pointed over it. And you know where I'm going. And there it is. And this is your map program. All right, and back to the, uh, let's take a look at graphics. We just have a simple image viewer. And nothing special about here. It's just a simple uh, image viewer. The loop team, the image viewer, 45.3. And back over here, go to internet. See what we have. Firefox is it going to be the ESR version? I think being a Fedora based system, it is going to be the ESR version, but we'll uh, confirm that right now. And, and it is not the ESR version, it's just regular. All right, 121.0 Mozilla Firefox for Fedora. And back to the applications. Under Office, do we have, yeah, we do have LibreOffice. And take a look at our help and about LibreOffice 7.6.3.1. Take a look at programming. We just have boxes, uh, sound and video. We have rhythm box in here, our music player. And rhythm box 3.4.7, music management and playback software for GNOME. Now we head into our system tools. So we have boxes, which is a virtual machine. Uh, 
see right here it says view and use virtual machines the confederator fedora media writer and software see look at software software so it's going to be uh, version 45.2 being that it is a gnome and let's take a do a little search there we go all right this might take a while so let's go back into the application launcher look at uh some utilities and right here we got calculators discs document viewers fonts uh, let's take a look at system monitor this is this is almost like having a NeoFetch and a HTOP installed. So you can see your processes right here. You can check out your resources and it gives you a visual graph. So you're getting visual graph on your CPU, your memory and swap, and on your network. And you should also check out your file systems. And system monitor 45.0.2. And then the other, what do we have? NVIDIA settings and settings. So let's take a look at settings. And GIMP is finished installing. So right here under settings, you get all your options right here on, on the on the left hand side. It's kind of similar to a KDE, but it is its own. So right here, if you want to change your appearance, you can click on here. And under appearance, you can see you just have a simple uh, dark and default. And then for your uh, wallpapers, we we'll go ahead and close out the software. You have this right here. Just click on it, and it'll change your wallpapers. All right, so that was a quick look at themes and wallpapers right there. And I believe we also have an about, so let's take a look at the about right here. And we have an operating system info, hardware info, processor, memory, disk, system details, software updates. It's all in your about thing. And that's your system settings. So let's take a look at our file manager. It's just the standard files. Files is a, uh, I believe it's a fork from Nautilus. And about files, 45.2.1. All right, we're just uh, downloading GIMP. So let's take a look at GIMP. Go into our graphics. And it's not showing up here. Let's do a search for it. And there it is. GIMP 2.10. Let's see. And on the version here, we can see 2.10.36. Let's uh, look for a terminal, and there it is right there, and should be the known terminal. And it is the known terminal version 3.50.1 for known 45. And do we have a uh, HTOP installed by default? We do not, but we do have top. It's almost similar to a uh, HTOP, but it is its own thing. Okay, seems like NeoFetch installed properly, so now let's take a look at it. Okay. 
So we can see on here, we got REM, Lime Desktop. Kernel 6.7.0. Desktop environment, GNOME 45.2. Window manager, Mutter. Window manager theme, Fluent. And that's uh, Orion Lime. All right, that's gonna do it for this uh, overview. Just wanted to take a quick look at Orion uh, Linux. Uh, if you need more info on it, I'll leave the homepage and download links in the video description, all right? And don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'm out.